Good morning from Hawaii. We started our beautiful day off at a new coffee shop called Local Joe's for some delicious coffee, euros, and a vegan breakfast sandwich, which was delicious. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. The channel is all about Hawaii food and family, and today we're celebrating my birthday and we're going to Waikiki for a mini staycation, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, but first, we're gonna take Ellie to the zoo so she can see some of her favorite animals. And yeah, just keep watching and come along with us. We stayed at the Hilton Waikiki Beach Hotel, which is conveniently located a couple blocks from the zoo. Since parking at the zoo was full, we decided to park at the hotel, check in, and walk to the zoo from there. So we're staying at the Hilton Waikiki and just wanted to show you around our room. So this is the bathroom here. It's pretty spacious. Shower. Close in mirror. Towel rack. And this bathroom. And the room. There's two double beds. Oh, be careful. So this hotel also has map 24-7 as a restaurant downstairs, um, but I haven't been here in a really, really long time. So anyway, this is our hotel. We actually, it's only, it's, it's about lunch time now. So we thought we couldn't check until three, um, but there was no parking at the zoo. So we thought we would just drop off the car here first. And we found that we could check in, which is nice. And we got to come to the room earlier, but we'll be heading to the zoo in a little bit and then probably coming back to the hotel. Hi! Staycations are pretty popular for people from Hawaii. It's a way to vacation on a budget and decompress from the daily stresses. Our hotel is pretty simple. There is a small pavilion area and a very small pool. But from my perspective, the main reason why you would choose this hotel would be for its location. It's walking distance from the beach, restaurants, and the zoo, where we will be going next. What do you think of the pool? It's quaint. After a quick tour of the hotel, we met up with my sister Jenny and her kids and walked to the zoo. Reed and I like to bring Ellie to the zoo when we have a chance. It's a nice place for her to get outside, see the plants and animals, and have a really nice picnic lunch. I'll leave a link to Ellie's first time at the zoo in the cards above and the description below if you want to check it out. It's, a, it's just a fly. <laughs> How's the zoo? It's just a fly. We are going to see it now. Yes. What you want? You so want what do you have for um, hummus? We have non hummus bell peppers. Cheese and turkey yeah. and oh. banana muffin. Wow, I go. You help to make it? Yeah. You help to pack the lunch? Uh, Hi, boys. Hi. Who wants none? So, how is the zoo so far? Um, so far, we just ate. And we, now we're going to see the petting zoo. We came, we ate, and it's almost closing already. The zoo only opens at 3 every day so it's it's only open for a short time i think from like 10 is it from 10 to 3 i think so the zoo it's only open from 10 to 3 right so it's not open very long um but yeah anyway it's probably like two something now we're gonna go to the petting zoo maybe see a few animals and then we'll head back to the hotel 
When the amount of kids 3 and under outnumber the amount of adults that are present, everything takes just a little bit longer. But the main thing is that they also had fun and enjoyed the overall experience of being in the zoo, seeing the animals, and enjoying each other's company. What does it smell like? Like goats. Like poop mixed with feed mixed with grass. Awesome. What is it, Hiro? Big shark. Big shark. Big shark. Is there a shark? Shark. Okay, we can see if there's time, yeah? After a hot day at the zoo, we thought the kids would be ready for a nap, but they were excited to check out the pool. So we went down, got some towels, and headed to the pool. which is located in the hotel. How are you doing? I'm excited. Hi. How was the pool? Yeah. It was cozy. It was warm. Aiko, how was the pool? Oh, nice. Ellie, how was the pool? <laughs> <laughs> so the pool was definitely quaint. It was warm though, so it was nice. Um, and I mean, it was a perfect size for Aiko and Ellie, who were the only ones in the pool. But it was a good, it was a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. Was the pool a good time? Yeah. Okay, what did you get for dinner? I call it the Mac Attack. It's like three pancakes, which I upgraded to mochi pancakes, scrambled eggs, sausage, bacon, and some um, potatoes. Cool. 
I got the special, which is uh, meatloaf. I got fish and chips. I always like fish and chips. Billy got some boiled egg and rice. Hi. Yeah. Hi everyone, good morning. It's the next day here and we had a great sleep. We had a really nice dinner last night at Matt 24-7. I literally haven't been there in a long time. But the service was really good. Um, and the, yeah, the staff was really nice. We had three under, I'm sorry, we had four under three and there was just three adults. So yeah it was uh, a lot of fun a little chaotic by the end uh, we kind of had to rush out of there because people were screaming and crying and all of all of that fun but other than that um it was good we came back here and was i was able to put ellie to bed and yeah we've been traveling with her guava actually this is a hand-me-down from jenny but the guava which has been really really helpful i think just to keep her bed um the same whenever we travel. So we brought this to Japan and we brought this here at this hotel and she slept a good eight hours, you know, which to me is pretty good in a new space. Um, but yeah, it's a great travel pack and play if any of you are ever, or if you're in the market right now for a pack and play for your baby, like this is the one that we use and Ellie has really liked it. But on the other hand, Jenny's boys, and her daughter, I don't think they liked it. So uh, it might just depend on the child as well, but yeah. And Reed is having some breakfast. They only serve Starbucks coffee, but it's a Starbucks, or it's a coffee shop. It's a coffee shop, so. It's not a Starbucks. It's not a, so Reed got us some coffee, some, he got some bagels. He got Ellie um, some boiled egg. And ooh, there's another bagel for me. And a blueberry and some blueberry muffins. So we're just gonna have breakfast now. So this is the guava that Ellie, well this is just the, well I don't think we have video of it. But anyway, this is how it comes, or this is how you travel with it, which is really, really nice because it's super small and tiny and it just opens up into a pack and play. And in this package here that we actually haven't used for this trip, but this is Ellie's chair. That's also really handy. And I just bring it around now because I never know when I'll need a chair. I can mount this to like another chair in a restaurant or pretty much anywhere, like if we need a chair on the go. So I usually travel with this one as well. And our stroller that we love. This is the Butterfly Bugaboo. Um, we decided, oh, I'm sorry, Bugaboo Butterfly and it's been just great. It's so easy to travel with. Uh, we're going on more trips this year too, so we definitely are gonna bring this one along. It's very light and it's a very easy close. So this one is good too because it comes with a bag and it comes with like bigger, can you, sorry, can you open this one? Never mind, I got it. This one comes with a bag and it also comes with like big feet that you can put as extra um, stabilizers so it doesn't rock. Um, but this is a chair. Ellie enjoys it and loves to eat her food on it. It feels pretty comfortable. Try some as well. Blueberry muffin. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> today we have a pretty busy day. Uh, we just have a bunch of things that we have to do today. But tonight we are going to be celebrating my birthday with my family and we're going to be doing yakiniku. So I'm going to film a little bit of that as well and take you along and this is something that I would say we do like maybe once or twice a year not super often but it's really fun when we get to do yakiniku we go outside and we just enjoy each other's company and we cook and we eat and so I think Kathy's getting all of the ingredients today um, but we'll see what she we'll see what she gets because usually when we do it Reed and I get all the ingredients but Today, that's what's gonna happen. Hi. Hi, baby. Are you having fun at the hotel? For dinner tonight, we are having yakiniku. So what's, take us on a tour of what we're eating. Oh, we're having a shabu shabu. So 
Uh, I'm preparing some bell peppers that just arrived. That just arrived. So it's already like past seven, by the way. So we have, um, this is what I prepared earlier, and I have two trays, because we have two tables for our yakiniku. We have um, mushrooms, um, yellow squash, zucchini, um, sweet onions, asparagus, and nasubi. So Ooh, lots two of trays of that. Nice. And um, we have some bell peppers that I'm not sure how we're going to put out. So everyone can, maybe I'll just throw some on here. What okay. I'll just throw fine. And Kathy got the meat. So what kind of meat? meat? Where did you get the meat from, man? What kind? This is from H Mart. We have two kinds. So we have a um, marinated pork. Bogogi. And we have um, the marinated beef whereby roll also bogogi, which means it's for yakiniku. Ooh, excited. Yes. And we've had this before and it was very good last time. So. Alright, sounds good. Meat and veggies, and we have some lettuce. We can make lettuce wraps here. And Ellie is having her dinner already because it's, it's already, it is already 7.30. So it's a little late. Ellie is just having some leftovers. How are you doing? Good. She's freaking out a little bit. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Making core memories with my family is the best way that I could have spent my birthday. I'm so grateful to have all of these people in my life who continue to support me in all of my unique projects and also let me share a little bit of them on YouTube as well. I look forward to another year of wonderful experiences including travel, family time, and of course, good food. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy birthday to you.